People deluded, I'm back again. Now, you know, Arsenal have let a number of players walk away. What I mean by walk away is we know we could have, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo, Yaya Toure, you know, Bearman. I do think the papers overboard it and, you know, sometimes we've just missed out on a player or just been interested and they've been quick to say we've tried. But there's a long list of players we've tried to bring into this club. Now, you look at Emil Roback, you know. I didn't know no, nothing about him. I'm not watching Swedish football. I can only look at what's available to me. But when he was at Hamombay, forgive me if I'm wrong, he was linked with a move to Arsenal and AC Milan. AC Milan beat us to it. Um, and, you know, he was linked with Bayern Munich. He was linked with all of these. And for 17 years of age, from what I've seen, again, potential is just potential. But he could be a decent striker in the next couple of years. He's got he's got a good frame. Could be a bit... bit um, a bit... Um, could use it in the right ways a bit more, could become a bit more polished in terms of his actions on the football field, but he's a good finisher, he's got good link-up play, he wants the ball, and he actually can't, can drive at a man, you know, he's an Arsenal striker. Um, he said, though, he's revealed that he was close to a move to Arsenal, but he, but he was ultimately swayed by the chance to share a pitch with the legendary Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Now, you know, a young striker from Sweden at 17, you see Ibrahimovic, it's going to tip the balance. He said... Um, well, obviously he received his first taste of action for his new club on Wednesday. He came off the bench in a 4-2 friendly victory over Novara and he has been playing a couple friendlies for their youth team. He said, Milan were tracking me, but I was already for a, I was already for a transfer to England and to Arsenal because I realised they really wanted to invest in me. Bayern Munich were interested too, but in the end I followed my instinct and chose Milan, even if I knew Arsenal already had a deal in place with Hamambay. Once I arrived in Italy, it was all fantastic. I visited the training centre and spoke to Zlatan. Having him here is like a guarantee he knew all about my situation and experienced it when he was young. He said it will be difficult at the start, but that I must be patient. And yeah, he does need to be patient. He's got ability, but you've gone to Milan now. Ability is nothing. You're... You're there because you've got to believe patience and your chance will come. For for Milan, you know, Ivan Gazidis, you're doing all right now. You're thrilled, aren't you? You know, he's got Tenali, he's got them Benassia, and now he's got Hamambay. Well, he's got the Hamambay striker, um, Robert. You know, all these players could be... Apparently, they're getting Tenali from Bersa and probably pay a respectable fee. But you'd imagine there's resale value on all three of those in, in, individuals. That This tells me two things. This tells me, you know, we're unfortunate, you know. We could tell them our plans until we're blue in the face, tie up, dot eyes and cross T's for the deal. If the player doesn't want to come here, doesn't want to come here. And it is frustrating because, you know, we're potentially losing Balogun. Tyrese John Jules will go out on loan this season. Eddie and Ketia is in the first team. There are other people, but you'd imagine we need a player at under 23's level. We need a long-term replacement for Aubameyang. Now, I'm not putting too much hope in this young 18-year-old and saying he's going to replace him. But Aubameyang, even if he signs a new deal... We we need to be learning from hindsight with other players and using foresight to find that player for tomorrow that could potentially get there. If not, can we get a player for a couple of pounds and make a profit on him? Do you get it? Um, this tells me that, you know, we're unfortunate. And for all the bad that Arsenal get, it is what it is. On the second, this tells me we're looking for a striker. Clearly, we've been linked with a lot of little strikers there, young strikers in that. You know, Jorginho Ritter from Rennes today, in fact. I've done a video on such. So this tells me we might be looking for a striker, whether that's with... You know, the amount of people going out on loan and people that have left at 23's level. Because we could always sign, you know, we've signed Akinola. We've signed a couple of players, you know, that have been of that 20 sort of region for our 23's. You know, George Lewis. We might be able to find a young striker down that, that route. But if we're trying to find one, you know, with real, real potential that's sought after by top teams in Europe, then that tells me we're earmarking something for the future. Um, so I'll have to, we'll have to see. But it is what it is, man. I still wish him the best and want him to become the best football he potentially can be, man. It's just unfortunate that we missed out on this particular individual. On that note, though, I've got nothing more to add, so why waste any more of your time? It's always a pleasure. Deluded, I'm out.